Hello Rambonators! I get a lot of messages if I do commissions and because I have so much work to do my answer is always that I don't do any at the moment. But now there are finally a few commission slots available in my Etsy store. So if you are interested in getting an individual hand-drawn sketchbook or a portrait of you as a manga figure or an illustration of your self-created character and so on, make sure to check out my Etsy shop which is linked in the description box down below. And if you are rather interested in getting my art book, also make sure to check out my shop. Welcome to a new video. Today it's all about the 2 marker challenge without Copic, but with the super inexpensive twin markers from the Action Store. If you want more information about these markers, make sure to check out the description box down below. I put some links there which will lead you to my twin marker review and to the video where I already picked the markers for the 3, 2 and 1 marker challenge. For today's challenge, which is the 2 marker challenge, I wanted to start without a sketch and without line works and I don't know why I skipped this. I did the same with my 2 marker challenge with Copic, just go straight right into the coloration and see what happens. But what I did before this time was to search for inspiration. So the most biggest influence I had in this drawing um, are the artworks from Yoji Shinkawa, the illustrator and art director of Kojima Productions. His designs and illustrations are mainly known from Metal Gear Solid, uh, which I guess I don't need to explain. Um, it's just Metal Gear Solid, an awesome game. Everybody should know it. I absolutely admire his style and the way he paints with ink. It's like sorcery for me. So I wanted to try to draw in his style. I already did something like this a few years ago on canvas as a birthday present for a friend who is a huge Metal Gear Solid fan. But this time I didn't pick an illustration and tried just to copy it. Uh, this time I wanted to just get influenced and inspired. But drawing in his style... Um, or let me say, painting in his style was a bit difficult, because I don't use a flexible brush with ink, I just had hard nibs from the markers. So it was really not the same, but I have tried my best to capture the main elements of his style and mix it with my own ideas. So what makes up a huge part of his style are bold but detailed shadings and highlights. Huge gaps here and there and your brain just completed by yourself. Real fast dynamic brush strokes. Facial contours on point. And of course, his style is a bit like a sketch. I think his style shows a lot of knowledge of the human face and of course the human body proportions. And he just managed to paint with just a few strokes an expressive facial expression. It's insane! Senpai, teach me! So besides that, I really like the colors I picked, even if they are pretty high in contrast and almost dazzling. It was not really possible to blend both of them, so I just went for some sort of... Hmm, pop art shading? I don't know if this is the right word for it, but... Uh, but what I tried... Uh, Definitely hard contrasts. At first I thought he looks a bit like Spike from Cowboy Bebop, um, but then he just got older and older and his hair more wavy and way longer. And as I added more details in his expression, a little story came up in my mind. Because he looks so um, forcefully. So. Listen, here's my story. <clears throat> it was late at night, raining. He was followed up into a side street, which was just dimly lit. It was a dark and lonely area. 
The buildings just stared down, while all these fast footsteps echoed between them. Dead end. There was no way back, and no way to escape. The steps slowed down until there was only the sound of the rain that fell gently down the street and the heavy breathing of both men. As if the cat had chased the mouse into a trap, defenselessly, exposed like prey, hopelessly. He listened as the steps of his follower approached slowly, barely to hear. But it was not over for him. He was just too old and he had experienced too much things as if he would give up so fast. His heart was beating quickly, but he breathed calmly and almost satisfied. He felt refreshed after that chase. It reminded him of his past, times when he was way younger and inexperienced, times of trouble and chaos, always exciting and full of surprises, times that have shaped him and sharpened his senses. All that made him the person he was now. While his hand gently touched the high wall he standed in front, he looked up into the dark sky while closing his eyes. And it was like the rain would try to comfort him. He started to smile and turned around slowly, not knowing what could happen, but not ready to give up. A strong wind swept through the side street and blowed his wet hair as if it was light as a feather. His gaze was determined. This was the short story I had in my mind while drawing the details in his face and hair and I'm really not good in writing stories, especially in writing them not in my native language, but I hope you enjoyed it a little bit. What do you think could happen next in the story? To be honest, it tickles me a lot in the fingers to draw this short story. But it would be awesome to read what you think what could happen next before I really start to draw it. So the last things I did for the drawing was to give it the final touch with my brush pen and just a tiny bit of highlights in his eye and on the nose. And that's basically all. Uh, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this two marker challenge with the Deco Time twin markers from the Action Store. And before I end the video, I'm still collecting ideas for my one marker challenge, which comes next Friday. So if you have any ideas of what I could draw, please let me know it in the comments. And just so you know, I picked a red marker for the final marker challenge. So yeah, it will be fun. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.